What's up guys, it's your boy Chick Smooth. Boy, is it getting messy out here or what? So after Jason Lee went on the clubhouse over the weekend and pretty much said that Karen Silver was the one responsible for hacking his Instagram page a couple years ago, he comes on the Breakfast Club and pretty much doubles down and also exposes a lot of other industry secrets. I'm gonna link that interview down below with the Breakfast Club. Please go watch that. Please go check it out after this video. I think it's a very insightful interview that he did and also kind of gives you guys a little bit of taste of what goes on in the industry and how biased people can be, especially those people in the media and those people with big platforms. The one thing that stood out for me among many others was Jason Lee basically confirming that, hey, Joe Budden is helping to guide Karen Civil navigate throughout this media mess that she's going through. Now, whether that includes cleaning up her image, saying a lot of favorable things about her in the media, or even trying to shift the narrative of what Karen basically admitted, which was saying, hey, I was the one who had your Instagram hacked. And we kind of saw this with Joe Budden's response. He went on his Patreon and basically said, hey, I'm staying out of women's business. Last time I got into women's business, it did not end up well for me. So I'm going to stay out of this situation. Now, I'm sure most of you guys know Joe and Karen have known each other for a very long time and have a very good relationship. She also has a podcast called Girl I Guess under Joe Bunnett's network. So when this story happened, most people were looking forward to Joe's response to see if he was going to give a more objective response. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. But to be honest with you guys, this was expected. Joe is known for protecting his relationships that he has with different people. He never really publicly speaks out on people that's pretty much helped him out in the past. And I'm sure Karen Silver has done a lot of things for Joe Budden. So it wasn't truly surprising that he would not come out and say anything negative about what Karen admitted to. And I think that's Jason's main point to this interview. It's pretty much saying, hey, Karen came out and admitted to this crime. But no one's really talking about it or no one really cares. And it's either because they have relationships with Karen or they basically don't like Jason at all. You can also see some biasness come out of Charlemagne in this interview as well. When Envy asked Charlemagne, hey, if this wasn't Karen Silver that committed this crime, if this was a random person that you didn't know and you didn't have any relationships with, how would you feel and would you want them to be held responsible? You can tell Charlemagne was thrown off by that question and he didn't have a response. I hope you guys know moving forward that most of these people, including Jason as well, also have biasness. Everyone has relationships with certain people and there are certain people that they're not going to say anything negative about and that's just what it is. Tell me what you guys think about this man. Tell me what you guys think about Joe Budden getting involved and also tell me what you guys think about Charlemagne being biased as well. We know he's been good friends with Karen. Post your comments below. Subscribe to my channel. Go check out this interview on The Breakfast Club. I'll see you guys later man.